Hello everyone, Baby Butter here, and today we're playing Harvester Darvester for Miscellaneous Monday. That's right, everyone. Finally playing Harvester. For those of you who don't know, uh, Fishtoe, our friend, has requested this game for about a few months. You may have seen uh, Fishtoe's uh, messages on the comments saying uh, the Harvester petition and stuff. And uh, so I figured, hey, let's finally play this, set up a petition to play in a Miscellaneous Monday, so why not? So this is a game from the 90s. It's a click and point adventure. Uh, apparently a little bit gory, so we'll see exactly what's going on. So, if this ain't your style, no worries. We'll see what's going on. Uh, go over here. So I'm recording with OBS, because Fraps crashes. I need those tips back. A handful of faded hardbacks litter the lower shelf. A paper doll by the Mills Brothers sits on the turntable. A basketball, an official Dust Bowl basketball. Can I pick this up? Is there something over there? Go over there, you drunk! Alright, well. Paper doll, chair. Dress of drawers unlocked. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got cool sunglasses. As of yet, the future isn't so bright. Oh. That's a reference to a song. Two marks visible on the end of the ballpoint pen. Pick it up. Can I pick up the glasses? I want to pick them up. 25 cent piece. State of 19. Get some lint. What about this? Can I take my Christmas blankets? I want to take my Christmas blankets. Alright, so I did have a little bit trouble recording this with OBS. There was a little bit overlapping, so I'm watching it. Hopefully it should be fine, and hopefully the uh, audio should, should sync up fine. Master bedroom door is firmly locked. So you do wake up, and you don't know who you are. I have played that much of the game. But, oh. Uh, 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 okay. An old-fashioned console television. What? Hey there, little Timmy. Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. I don't give a shit, Steve. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, you I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. You're my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to, to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, brother. Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Oh, God. My name is Steve. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kidder, Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. Sick? Cowboy show? Hmm. Gerbils! Say what? Say gerbils? Cowboy show? Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a color television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history, what made America great. And besides, blood and guts are needed. Look, it should watch violence. You're right, that is really neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Sick. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Daddy? Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night pretty hard. Ew. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What did she... Like you don't know, I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now, huh? Too bad you wouldn't pay me, and I had to tell, huh? What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there another one, too? Wait till I tell. 
Girl! I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? Yeah. No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV. Wedding? Stephanie. I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. Wedding? Wedding? Say what? Say what? Oh, losers, uh, losers, losers say what? Say what? Yeah, he did, loser. Say what? Man, you are a goofy bastard. Um, gore. Say what? Blood. Say what? Man, you do not speak English to your baby. Say what? All right, I'm leaving. Bye. Good. I don't care. Mama, what you doing in the kitchen, Mama? Uh, Mama, what you doing in the punch, punch, kitchen, kitchen? An expertly embroidered old-fashioned wall plaque. What does it say? Cabinet smells of dirty diapers. Ew, what the fuck? Throw them out. Ooh, cookies. These cookies are out, out are hot out of the oven. Eat them! What's up, well, Mom? Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Who? Uh, so Fishto said to type out sex. Sex. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Oh. Well, maybe that sex sexes? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Sexy. Stop speaking. Gerbils. Stop. Oh, 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 I know. Stephanie. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiance is having second thoughts about the wedding. Fiance. Fiance? This is insane! Whoa! Oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is all about? Pre-wedding jitters? Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. She great at Minecraft, though? Uh, Stephanie, again. And just who is... Oh, okay, we did this. Uh, wedding. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of psoriasis, and now this. Two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out, whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Uh... Feet... Can some... Stop. Cooking and clean. No, I want to get. What's cooking and cleaning got to do? Honestly, boys are so dense. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? You may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Well, you'll uh, have to ask your father about that, but I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty when the time comes. Are you referring to. Pooping? Bless your innocence, but there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. You can't know what I'm talking about and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. Oh, jeez. 
All right. Um. Dad. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Dad. Okay, fine. Daddy. Stop speaking. No okay, whatever. Bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. Jimmy can suck a dick. What's up, baby? Go touch the baby. Look at the baby. Walk over to the baby. Walk more. Hey, that's me. Look at my face. I got a pan and a quarter, and it's Monday. I want to look at the baby. I could have sworn you could. Okay, whatever. No. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Okay. Whoa, Jesus. All right. It turns out you were a rad roach the whole time. What's up, kid? A day glow lima space disc. <laughs> lima space disc. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Jimmy uh, James. I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I don't know. I'm supposed to? I don't remember, bro. Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? Jesus. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Yes, I do. Nope, sorry. Oh, gee whiz. Look, you f All right. See you later, alligator. Okay. See you later. All right. Security bars fastened to the window with Phillips head screws. Is that dad's room? Can we go next door. Exit, exit, exit. Okay, this is our house. Hot's damn residence. This is where Stephanie lives. Knock, knock, knocking on that door. Morning, Mr. Potsdam. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Potsdam household, huh? Huh? I've lost my memory. I came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Meat? Father? I seen my father. He's locked in a room. I hear him moaning. But that's all. He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Yeah, fine. If I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son, you take over. Right? Meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Kinda makes up for not getting into the lodge. Stephanie. Why is Stephanie grounded? I really need to see Stephanie. Man, it's raining. Mrs. Potsdam grounded Stephanie. All right, all right. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. I'll remind him about the meat. Meat. Meat is the fa Yeah, we did that. Lodge. Why are you so anxious? Getting lodged. There's wonders inside. I've heard 
There's more meat in there than they know what to do. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. And meat. All right, bye. Marriage. Tell me about the. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor, since I'm not a member of the lodge. <laughs> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay, and your father is going to cater the affair with plenty of meat. Mr. Moynihan. Moynihan is the undertaker. He also runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding, you might stop by and say hello to him just to be sociable. But whatever you do, be sure to say hi to your father. I know, the meat. I get it. Bye. I want to see if I can lower the music. There we go. It's very loud. And let's save. This is a horrifying <laughs> save screen, by the way. Uh, save a one. All right. Yay. Where is? Hello, lady, Miss Mrs. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Have you flossed today? Yes. You look just like my mom, except for the hair. I like to see Stephanie. What's her name? Except for the hair. Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. I'm sorry. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potston Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Pearls. Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good. Pearls. Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Some kind of sitcom mom. Sitcom? Jeez, you know, a situation comedy. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know that. I'm much too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Potston. That's right, Mr. Potsdam. You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though, so keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love rather than over at Moynihan's place. Moynihan. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the Lodge, but the Order keeps that kind of thing secret. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his Lodge application, but so far... Lodge. What can you tell me? Lodge. Just that they're exclusive and secretive. If you're curious, you want to pick up a lodge application at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at all. All right, so. Tell me name. about this. Well, it's set for three weeks. Say what? Now, I know it's not a very romantic. Mr. Potsdam. You mustn't be too hard. All right, Mr. Potsdam loves me. Give my regards to your pa I got the meat. Oh, a carotid chop, your tea. C -c carotid chop. The entire kitchen is a minty, fresh looking scent. You karate chop your way through cooking. Ha, hoo, ha, hoo, karate chop, ooh, ooh, invisible children. Karate, 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 okay. Bushes are preventing it from opening. Wait, can I, oh, wait, 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 I want to go, I want to talk to Stephanie. I have Hello, to talk dear. To... Wait, shit, yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. Okay, bye. Give my regards to your parents. Oh! I'm gonna meet my girl. Which door is it? Closet door won't budge. This one. It's my girl! Stephanie, furnishing nice taste. She's got nice taste. She's got nice taste. She's got nice taste. That's a little bit foreboding. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Hey, you don't Haven't know. Have you heard? We're getting married. 
So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? Yeah. You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Those people. Amnesia. The Maybe game. my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. In another life. Brother, sister. Maybe we really do live here. Maybe we were together and the same thing happened to both of us. An accident. Something. Neither of us has bumps on our heads if that's what you're getting at. Have you been able to remember anything else? I mean, anything at all? Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Strange, abstract images. Liquid, chrome. He's a probably just thousand. a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape Harvest? Wedding escape. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. That's too harsh. These people are just eccentric. Yeah, I think you're right. Of course I'm right. Amnesia. Maybe my am Amnesia. Maybe. Maybe. Have you been? Well. The game for pigs. Well, the T-1000 wedding. The wedding is only three weeks away. Not much time to get to know each other, is it? Nope. Time to dance. Don't worry about the wedding. It isn't going to happen. It's only the idea of wedding doesn't seem so bad. Yeah. No. If it comes down to it, we just won't take the vows. I don't think anything in Harvest is that simple. Too many people are determined that we get hitched. Why? Potsdam wants the meat your father promised him. Your parents want to force you to settle down. <sighs> Mrs. Potsdam wants to have the wedding in the lodge. Me? I just want to escape. Lodge. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This... Order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Oh, shit. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. It's the back of your head. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. Or the you best. You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. <sighs> Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You're really so... afraid of the Lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. Oh, that's you. I mean, look at the damn thing. Yeah. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Maybe. Mmm. Jeez. You're not making sense. All right. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. I just sworn Fishto said to say sex to the mom, but whatever. You're not making sense. Okay. Oh, baby, baby. You're not. Babies? You're not making sense. Jimmy James! Jimmy James! You're not. Um. Me! You're not. Oh my god. Dad. You're not. Fish toe. You're not. Alright, let's go. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Don't worry, I won't. What about your parents' room? Oh, it's the bathroom. Wait, where do your parents live? Oh, karate chop. Whoa! Shit. Oralubes. Got a headache? Jar of X-Strength Oralube. One hour of cough medicine. Morning. Yeast disinfectant. Not to be used with bacon cookies. Tampons. Oh, shit! No, I didn't want... Ooh, floss. Gum. Band-aids. 
Time to give Stephanie a tampons. She's pretty.